Hey everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center and welcome back to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional and for that we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So, in this series of Tecla Structures in which we have started working on a steel project, we have made a drawing. Okay, and in this series, now we are learning how to modify those general arrangement drawings. And for that, we have this view property box. How to open up this view pro property box? For that, you can watch my previous video. I have already explained it multiple times. Now, in this, I am going to talk about parts today, which comes under the objects. Okay, so guys, you can see over here, there are different presentations over here, and you can use any of these. Okay, so first of all, let's uh, zoom it a little bit. Okay, so that you can clearly see the difference and it's better if I will just uh, hide the part marks over here so that you can have a better perspective of what is happening over here. So I will just remove the profile from here, but you can keep it to generate the drawing just to understand all these things. I am doing this modification. So in the part, you will see that there are four columns. One is content, second is appearance, then fill and then the custom presentation. In content, we have different representations that is exact outline so let's uh, see what outlines actually shows okay so it basically shows what is the outline of the drawing and then we have the symbol and when you will click on the symbol and click on modify then you will see that over here only the symbols are present like you can see the beams are not visible over here only the symbols of the beams are present okay now in the similar manner if you want if you will work with a symbol with partial profile, then you will see that it is showing the symbols as well as the partial profiles of all those things. Okay, so you can see the main uh, things or you can say the members are not visual, but the components of which are like uh, attaching those beams and the like purlins, those are visible. So this is how it shows the symbol with partial profile then comes the workshop form okay so this is uh, uh, showing like all the drawing in the workshop form like uh, how it is going to be visible in the workshop so it is showing you like this then comes the bounding box now this is showing the general arrangement drawing in the representation of rectangular and the squared boxes okay so you can see over here all the beams are uh, appearing to be rectangular box and then we have this uh, a small box which is representing the component which is acting over here as the L angle and uh, is the connection between the roof purlins and this beam. Okay, so the same concept is for the base box also. Okay, so you can just uh, see the reference for the base box also. So it is almost same. Okay, so now I will just uh, click on uh, modify and I will come back to exact. So, okay. This is what I am willing to get in my drawing, but you can choose any of this according to your requirement. Then comes the next thing, which is the uh, symbol offset, like uh, how much offset you want to take. Then the inner uh, contours, you can just turn that on or off. Then comes the hidden lines. Okay. So if you want to turn that hidden line on or off, then you can simply uh, like click over here and click on the modify buttons and you will see the hidden lines over here. Okay, so you can also turn it on and off from here. So that's up to you. You have to just do a little bit of the experiment and you will see a lot of things from here. Now, the next thing is the center line. Now, this center lines is what? It is the center line of all the members. So you can either like uh, show the center line for that, like for the main part and for the secondary part, for beam plate and the polygon, you can show the center line as well as the reference line. So first of all, let's see how it is visual for the center line and then we will also go for reference line okay so here you can see this is the center line and it is going through that now if you want to change the color of the uh, center line then you have this appearance tab over here you can just to do that from here also but we will come to that later now let's uh, have a look at the reference lines okay so what is reference line actually it is actually referring you to the point like how uh, or you can see from where this uh, like members will be drawn. So that is the reference line. Okay. Now the next thing is about the appearance. So in the appearance, you can simply change the 
color of the visual parts okay like if you want to make the visual parts green and uh, then also the dotted one then you can go with this okay and you will see this whole drawing will change to green with the dotted lines but i would like to keep it black with the plain line and click on modify then there is the hidden color and this hidden line is for the either for the center line or the uh, hidden lines okay then for the reference lines so here reference lines are visible so i can just uh, go ahead and make the modification in that let's make these uh, uh, lines blue okay with the dotted one that is quite okay so all these reference lines will be blue in color now if i will just uh, check the like center line and remove the like reference line from here and i will just change the color then you can see the modifications over here okay so i will simply change the color of the center line and that will be visible over here okay so like this you can do the modifications now the next thing is about the fill now in this fill the option chosen over here is none for the part faces but you can go for any other option like the solid is there and click on modify okay so you will see how it is changing over here now this uh, portion of the solid will be visible like that and you can also choose what kind of hatch you want to provide in your like uh, diagram okay so you can just uh, come over here and choose the solid okay now the next thing is if you want to like uh, uh, go for a particular member then you can also go with that okay so that's not an issue you can simply go ahead and choose any of the things over here okay now i would like to keep it as none because uh, that is quite good with me so i will click on modify and make it none the same is uh, thing is there you can just uh, change the color also you can change the hatch also okay so that is up to you and that is according to your requirement so guys that was all about the part now the next thing is bold so that we will discuss in the next session now guys if you want to take the professional training for the tecla then you can simply just go ahead and call me on the number which is given on the screen and if you can also whatsapp me on the same okay so keep practicing with the tecla structures and with the steel projects if you have any kind of confusion then you can simply whatsapp me or you can simply leave that in the comment section i will definitely make a video on that till then take care bye bye